G'day, I'm Mark Berg, and this is Fishing Addiction, the show that surprises fishers around Australia with incredible fishing adventures. This is part two of our trip to Cape York fishing with Far North Fishing Weeper, and what a trip it's been so far, especially for our Fishing Addiction member, Fabio. If you missed last week, let's take a quick look back at all the action. Oh. Fabio! Sorry, how are you guys? Well, we're fishing with a company called Far North Fishing in Weeper. Yeah. Brilliant, lovely Kurt and his wife Jamie, the most beautiful people you'll meet. And they know they've lived there their whole lives. They know the area so well. We're going to catch heaps of fish. You're going to have the time of your life. Five days wow. non stop fishing. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Thanks, man. No worries. Yes! <laughs> yes! 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 His first Barramundi! <laughs> Thanks. Well yeah! Done. Right, okay. So, I want you to catch at least five different species of fish when we're fishing blue water. But while we're here in this magnificent river, you need to catch 30 metres of barra. But if you add up all the barra that you and I catch, oh, okay, well, that's we add them all up, you've got to beat 30 metres in total. Look at this guy. Bada bing, bada boom. Two fish in the net. <laughs> Fabio! Yeah! That's good fishing, mate. Very iconic fish, this one. Mama, grazie per te. Mama, that's for you. Very profound moment to measure this <laughs> Baramundi now. Needs to be 52 centimeters or above. Slide her in. Drum roll, please. Oh, it's going to get it easy. Is it? Oh, jeez. Just 55 centimeters. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> mate. Thanks, kid. Thanks, <laughs> 30 meters of Baramundi. Thank you. Thank you, boys. So, today is Sunday, the 1st of May, and normally, traditionally, I'm at work. It'll be a big Sunday, big Sunday lunch. But it happens that we were at 25 meters and uh, there was at least 10 barramundi, average size obviously, to, to catch. And we made it. We went again on top, uh, surface, surface lure, and uh, that was just amazing. I mean, the excitement of getting such a fish on, on surface, the emotion of seeing the fish coming from the bottom and hitting the lure on the surface is indescribable. It's just amazing. So when it comes to the challenge, Fabio is looking pretty good. We've still got loads of fishing in front of us. Let's go fishing. Waking up to the morning bird sound of Cape York is always so special. But then to step outside of our tents and witness a mother minky whale and her calf feeding a couple of hundred meters off the shore is beyond words. Kurt has fished and camped his whole life on this coastline and has never seen minkies this far south. This place is magic. We're all good, mate. Oh, yep. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Airborne. That was a cool strike. Did you get that? Yeah. Mate, i got to sh give a shout out to our slow mo cameraman, young Will. Does a great job. And he does it for you folks at home. He sits there all day long following these lures trying to get these surface strikes so you too can share in the excitement and I reckon that one's going to look pretty cool. Very nice. Good job Will. Much better fish. Oh that was cool. Came once and then he came a second time. That's a pretty good trick. You do one of two things. If you get a bullfin who doesn't connect, you can often just do nothing. Just let the lure sit there, you'll come back and eat it. Or just stay consistent. Just keep ticking away and they'll come back a second time, sometimes even a third. That's ah, a much better fish. Give him a go too. Oh, come on, mate. Gosh, Kurt, I've literally lost count, mate. Yeah. How many fish have we caught? I've Probably lost. over 100 now. Yeah, you would have been. You'll be over 100. Unbelievable. It's just... And the majority of the fish we've caught have actually been on top water. On the tail. Hey, he's got him on the tail. Right. Thank you. Once of a lifetime experience. 
It is indeed. That's so amazing. This fish is beautiful. And I love barramundi fishing, <laughs> better than everything. Yes. That's a good lure, right? It is a very good that's lure, mate. Lure. It's not a big fish, this one, but yeah, that's a great lure, especially for people that are just starting out. Oh, they've dropped him. Just starting out with top water fishing because you just simply get that little flap. You can either tuck it away and you and walk the dog yourself, use it like more like a popper, or you just unclip that little flap, it sits out the back, and it makes the tail swing by itself. And it's just a straight wind. Very, very simple and very effective. We've managed to uh, catch some early morning fishing uh, big fish, uh, threatening salmon, uh, jewelfish, mulloway, and they were all good size, including a nice barramundi. It couldn't be any better, to be honest with you. Uh, and then at the end of the day, now uh, while the sun was going down, we decided to do some more top uh, surface lures, and uh, we got a lot of barramundi. A lot of barramundi, different size, some juveniles and some bigger barramundis. And it's so much fun. Always with the help of uh, Kurt with um, Far North Fishing Reaper and obviously Mark and the boys, I had an amazing day. It's, I feel so lucky to be here. It's just amazing. I wish to everyone to come up here and have some, some fun. Obviously, maybe it's not gonna be that great all the time, but uh, it's just an amazing place where to be. And uh, I wish I can come back up here again. Um, this is the biggest one I've, I've caught this trip. It's a big one. Thanks, Will. Balance the boat. Hey, didn't he swallow that down? Yeah, got him. Oh. Beast. Yes! yes! That's a good fish on top of it, man. <laughs> it's a cracker. Beast. Wow. Wait, I'm not going to lie. I'm the big Was it? Yeah. Yours as well. <laughs> <laughs> you wish, brother fish. Yeah, but mine's in the boat. <laughs> that's a proper one. Oh, that's a horse. That's a cracker. And that um, entice topwater lure is gone. A little bit of blood you can see there. It's almost like a nosebleed. It really isn't that bad. Once we pull these hooks out, that'll stop. And this guy will swim away really, really well. Lovely fish, 79 centimeters. That's the biggest one so far, but that's definitely the heaviest one we've caught this trip. Oh, that's a cracker. Just under 80 centimeters on top water. That's fantastic fishing, it really is. If you want to give yourself an amazing adventure, their website is on the screen right now. Far North Fishing Weeper. Give them a call, send them an email, say good day. But I will say, when you come up here, you cannot expect the fishing to be this red hot. It could be, but with fishing, things do change. It might not be as red hot, but this session we've had, I tell you what, if you can get even half of what we've had, you, you're gonna have a trip of a lifetime. What a cool fish. Well, it's time to say goodbye to our amazing campsite and this incredible river system. Again, it's been a privilege fishing here and we really do thank the traditional owners for allowing us to be here. Now, it's time to head back to Weeper, do a bit of blue water fishing. And as much as I love my camping, I'm really looking forward to a shower <laughs> and a soft bed back at the pub. Let's go, mate, eh? This coastline is so special and the mouth of this particular system was buzzing with life, both in and out of the water. 
which was making it hard to leave. So we gave ourselves one last cast. Oh, banging it on the way down. Oh, they're still there. Something smaller, whacking it. Okay. Okay. That one just bashed it. We were supposed to be heading out <laughs> of the mouth of this river system, but Gainsy said, oh, why don't we just have one or two casts? And I said, okay, why don't we? And this is the result. When you come past and you look on the sounder and there's big fish sounding next to you, this is a ripper. Of course, Mark is gonna get a meter barramundi now that we're about to leave. <laughs> you got a color? Barramundi. Uh, not, a bad, not as big as I thought it was. Hooked in the chin, I think. Come here, little fella. Oh. Well done. Well done, Mark. Just a sneaky, sneaky 70 before we go. The particular colour I've got a fish trap there, it's called dry lime. And in the blue water, little tip for you folks. It is my absolute favourite colour, dry lime. And I've never tried it in the estuary systems like this for Barra, and they don't mind it either. Man, did it went, did it went hard, didn't it? it? Did. For a smaller fish, about 70 centimetres. Beautiful, a couple more casts and then we'll go. How was the run on that fish? let it sink back down again. Nice big pauses in between your vibes so it gets to the bottom. There it is. <laughs> and I'll just remind you, Fabio, we've only got about 10, 15 minutes of fishing here. Yep. But there is the wild card, mate. If you get a metre barrow, you win instantly. All right. We don't even have to worry about the blue water. So all right, all right, all right. We'll throw in a couple more. This is not a metery, but we'll throw in a couple more casts and you just never know. Oh, bang. Oh, mate. Fabio, you're going to have to toss that rod for a set, mate. This fishing is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. There you go. Nice fish. That's that 60 plus? Yeah, easy. 70. Fat Betty does it again, huh? Yeah. <laughs> fat Betty, Fat Betty. Fat Betty for life. Thank you for that. Let's be straight back in. It is literally a fisher cast at the moment. Every single cast, we're hooking a fish. Crazy. Hey guys, if you want to support Fishing Addiction, become a member today. Uh, we really try and make dreams come true on this show and uh, with all your support, we, uh, we can do it. But the more members we have, the more trips we can do, the bigger prizes we can give away. So become part of the crew today. Sign up at fishingaddiction.com.au uh, and you never know, it could be your door that I come knocking on next. That's so much fun. So much fun, it's just unbelievable. This place is glorious. It's a bit sad to leave, I have to say. You fished well. And thank you for letting me fish this morning well. as well. Yeah, good way to finish off the little session the river, eh? Yeah, that's right. One last little taste. Problem is you don't want to go, you want to keep doing it. Bye-bye, yeah. beautiful place. <laughs> I don't know what, what, what your name is, but you're just amazing to us. We had a big steam ahead of us, and as we were covering so much coastline, Kurt wanted to try and clock up a few blue water species along the way. That's finger mark, to see if you can get one Yep, you're hiding. Yes, yes, come on, that's finger mark. Yes, Fabio. Come on, nice big finger mark. It's not a big one, but it's a finger mark. Oh, nice no, no, finger mark. Valley. Valley. No. Fabio's got to get five species. Nice! 
<laughs> tea leaf, maybe? Tea leaf, yeah. Tea leaf trevally. Let me land it first. Yeah. Might just get you to come this way a bit more. Yeah, yeah. sure. Cheers, mate. Cool. I'm just going to get you to stand up the back as well for a sec, mate. I'm just going to lift him into here. Mate, it's only a small fish, but they don't get a lot of tea leaf trevally here, and it is a blue water species, so we're going to count it. Thank you. <laughs> we're going to count it. I Thanks mean, it's very not much, a guys. trophy fish, but it's still it's still a good one. Oh well, thank you for flexibility, then. Yeah, it's all right. I Have really you ever caught one of these before? <laughs> uh, no, no way, no. Very good. Tea leaf trevally, tick, four to go. See you, buddy. Meow. Alright, hold your fire. Oh, yes. there we go, Fabio! Double hookups, baby! Oh, holy smokes, that's a better one. Oh, spool me. He's gonna be your next no, he's not going to come close to spooling you, mate. You've got no problems whatsoever. Start working him back, though. Look, get that rod down in your gut so you get some leverage. What do you reckon it is? Trevally, 100%. See mine here in the water? Oh, you're about to. You've got the same. Oh, no, mine's a queenie. Could be a queen fish. Whoa. It's not too high, Fab. It's a queen fish. Hooked on the side again. Smooth. Smooth, mate. And your one is bigger than my one, Mark. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. It's gonna be hard to land this fella. Yes! Number two, Thanks, baby! A queenie, saltwater species, number two. Sorry. <laughs> all right, send him home, mate. All is good with the world. Thank you, Mr. Queenie, he'll be all right. Fish on. Oh, get some head thump. That could be a finger mark. Or not. See those head shakes? Uh, more trevally like now that's coming up on an angle. Oh, ho, ho, ho. cracking fish. That right hand, if it's higher on the rod, you'll find it much easier, more leverage, your right hand. That's it, yeah, that's it. Now you got leverage, see? Beautiful. What do you got? What do you got? A joey! Yeah. Oh my god! School of them there. School of them. Oh, there is two. Look at that. Now, you caught them in the estuary. Now let's get it in the net first, eh? Oh, yes, my goodness. Yes, that's a good oh my one. goodness me. That's a cracker. Well, we didn't count the ones in the estuary because we're in the estuary. How, we have to count it now. Oh, we've got to. We've got to. We're in the blue water. We only been fishing for half an hour. That's three species done. I'm thinking that tea leaf trevally might have to be uh, disqualified. See how we go. Cracking fish. You give me that rod. Those fish traps, mate, they catch everything. I got it. You go hold your beautiful dewy. Support him, support him. Now you can see on these fish, compared to the southern dew fish, they call them black dew. And they do have like a, a little black edge on each scale. 
just a little black edge on each scale, so it kind of, if they still look silver to me, but they are called a black dewfish or a black mulloway. That one looks good out there though. Yeah. You gonna be able to get to it? Mate, have a cast out there. Now wind him, don't let it sink because you've got to... That's it, a little bit slower, yeah, a little bit faster. Keep going. Keep going. That's it, now go again, but this time along the edge. Yeah. You went out that way, you've got to go down that way. You see how you've got those two rock points sticking out? They're isolated yep. from the rest of the rock, the bombies. Yeah. You just want to land right, right of them. There's a shelf, there's a little undercut under them. Yeah. In the middle? No, uh, to the right. Okay. To the right, there's an undercut there. Can you see how it's sort of just under the water? Over there, mid there yeah, to me. Yeah, 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 that's it. This left is left. phenomenal fishing. You got him. Oh. What is he, Fabio? I don't know. Lift, lift your rod, lift your rod out of, out of the water. Yeah, it's a jack. Nice jack. <laughs> nice jack. Keep him up. That's him. Don't lift him out of the water, though. Keep him there. Beautiful. Yes! Mate, this is your jack. Hang on, mate. Leave him there. Leave him there, Fabio. No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't walk your tip out. You're going to have to stay there with him. And then lead your tip over to me, mate. Yep. Free spill. That's a species, mate. Well yes. done. Yes. Look at that. There's your jack. Beautiful. Help you, hey? Thanks, Kurt. You want to come over and hold him, mate? I'll bring him to you, eh? Ah, uh, if you want. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Because it's your fish. No point in me holding him up. Is that your first? Oops. Yeah, first jack. Yeah. That's the Keenan and L. Thank you guys for all you're doing for me. That's amazing, man. Catching a fish in this environment like this, Obviously, with the help of a very talented fisherman, which is Kurt, it's just amazing. There's no words to describe it. I'm very blessed to be here today. How good's that, bro? You wanted to catch a jack, a thready, and a barra? Fabio! After a very welcome rest and shower back at the Albatross in Weeper, we were feeling refreshed and ready to take on the last day. Fabio still has two blue water species to tick off the challenge after the tea leaf trevally was disqualified. Well, this is our very last day here fishing with Farnell Fishing Weeper. Beautiful Cape York. You had a good time so far, my friend? Can't describe. <laughs> just amazing from the first day. Well, you've only got two species to go to win the Fishing Edition Challenge. 5,000 bucks from Wilson in terms of fishing gear and another couple of grand from addicttackle.com. That's 7,000 bucks on the line. I was gonna kind of build the suspense and say, will he do it? Come on, let's get real. He's gonna do it. We've got a whole day here of blue water fishing to chase two species. So it's just a matter of what cool fish we can catch for Fabio, just to add to the experience. What That's do you right. want to catch? Is there anything in particular? Um, well, I don't know, guys. You're the expert, but um, this uh, blue, blue bone. Yeah, that'd be cool, hey? Sounds like a challenge. Yeah. Oh, they pull real hard. They're yeah. a good fish. That's what Kurt's saying, so yeah. One of those. All right, we'll see what we can uh, drum up. If you could just make that happen, please, Kurt, that'd be lovely. <laughs> Let's go fishing, mate. Yes. <laughs> Very sad sight. Unfortunately, the whole west coast of Cape York is covered in these discarded uh, nets that have come from Indonesia. It's all along the beaches. It's absolutely ridiculous. But when they're held up like this, they uh, can hold good fish, uh, particularly your triple tail. I'd love to catch a triple tail. So there we go. So we're just going to keep fishing around here. Just for a minute, I just I mark up some really big mackerels.
dirt nose that uh, hold, oh, got some bites there that hold big blue bone. And, uh, oh, that could be one, get into him. No, it's only small. And we've actually put on, uh, oh, Spanish flag. We've actually put on some crab baits that we collected earlier for Fabio, because these blue bone, they just love crunching on crabs. We love to see him get a nice, big, juicy blue bone for the, for the challenge. In the meantime, I'll just keep chucking my fish trap, having a bit of fun. There's one. That's a uh, blue bone. Yep. Ah, oh, some gnarly teeth, man. First drop, that's a weird bite. <laughs> Excellent. It is a fusilier. Three species in three drops. Oh. Whee! What have we got? Foul hook, Spanish flag. I don't know. Trout. Coral trout. Nice. You just called it. Six species in six drops. Uh, how beautiful is this? Different species. No! Oh, I dropped it. Doesn't count. <laughs> so Kurt, can you explain to Fabio the, the right technique here? Okay, so what we want to do is with the blue bones, they're pretty finicky. They, they can actually feel the line through their mouth on the bait. So what we do is we wait for them to actually get it fully into their mouth and start walking with it. Once they've got it in their mouth and you can feel a little bit of weight, you just lift up to make sure that they're there. And then it's a nice, smooth, but powerful lift. Uh, by the if bottom. You, if you actually whip it, It'll just pop the it'll pop the bait out of its mouth without setting the hook. But if you if you pull it nice and smooth and up, they'll actually run with it and you'll set the hook. That's that's how we like to do it. You want to keep your bait as still as you can on the bottom too. You don't want it, you don't want the bait going up and down off the bottom. It looks unnatural. You just want it sitting on the bottom. The blue bone will come along and feed on it that way. So I'll just get that off here now, for you. Oh, wait, wait. Wait for him to take it away. Yeah, there you go. You got him. Oh, that's, that's a ripper. Woohoo, Fabio. Oh, done ya. Oh, no. Unlucky, mate. Rip him in, that's all right. Oh. They go hard, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was. Oh, gosh. Bad start. luck, mate. Bad luck. Lift it up, mate. What? That's the right species. Yes. But the wrong size. That's right. You sound like Bordat. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Very, very cool fish. We just want one about four times the size, yeah? Yeah, the father or the mother of this. Wine. Oh, wine, 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 wine. That's a better one. Get him up. Get him up. Lift him. Oh, mate, you're letting him go back in the reef. No, but I thought I was. You've got to get into him. Rock That's okay. Rock. You're on the bottom, mate. You're stuck on the bottom. Oh, no, I know. Did I get you stuck on the bottom? Yeah. I think so. That's a fish wine hard. Oh, you got him up him. That's a better one. Keep him high. Yeah. Lift that rod up. tip up. Keep him up. Up, 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 up. Oh. Busted you. That was the one. <sighs> See, you, Fabio, your rod is down here. Put the butt down here, lift the rod up, and get some power in it. How's yeah. that drag set? Tighten the drag it's, a bit. No, it's tight. It's that was a big fish. It's just... You're still holding the rod up near you here, and there's no bend in the rod. There's no hurt on and, the fish. And um, it's when I say up, Fabio, it's with your rod, it's not with your arms. Yeah. Does that feel like something's on there, Fabio? Yeah. Talk me through it. Is he walking with it? Yeah. Up him, up him, up him. Wind down, wind. Wind God. up, 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 up. Wind down, wind down, up, up, wind down. <laughs> yeah, you got him, Woo. <laughs> yeah, you got him. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Thanks, Kurt. Yes. Legend. Sorry, mate. Sorry for yelling. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's the right way. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yes! <laughs> Satisfaction. He's won. Oh, Sergeant uh, oh. Psycho over here. <laughs> that was good. What a great well, I fish. To, I had to get him through it. Just Absolutely. <laughs> so, Mark, this is too, too small? Or no, this that? is definitely good. That's a good that's fish, a good, mate. That's a good oh. tusk fish, mate. That's, that's probably 50 centimetres, 48 centimetres, something like that. Oh, nice fish, mate. Look at the colours in that thing. And you can see they call them a black spot tusk fish or a blue bone. 
Uh, some people call them parrotfish, but parrotfish are actually a different fish. But look at the beautiful colours in that tail. Aren't they a spectacular fish? And not only do they look good, oh my goodness, do they taste good. All right. But this guy's very, very lucky. Yeah. How many fish have we caught? Over, well over 100, and we've kept one fish the entire trip. That's sustainable fishing. Beautiful fish. And well done, Kurt, talking him through. I, I, I was probably yelling, mate. I didn't, I didn't yell so much. That's but. all right. This yeah, is how you the, catch the a fish. I get excited yeah. as much as you I do. thought yeah. we'd get um, very, very uh, bitter, but harder. Uh, but in the end, I caught one and very, very happy. You're Thanks, awesome, mate. mate. Hey, let me remind you, this is species number four. That's right. You have one to go, my friend. Yeah. And you've won the whole shebang. <laughs> yes. Sound good? Oh, sounds crazy. That's it, baby. You've got all the time in the world, mate. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. You've got plenty of line. He runs, he runs. Smooth lift, wind down. Oh. Wind, mate. Wind him up. With one species to go and only hours remaining, Fabio's luck seemed to be turning. Fabio was hooking the fish, but he just couldn't stay connected. Send it. Yep, you got him. Uh, it's only a small fish. We'll pump him up. It's got eaten. Far out! Sharks! Yeah, unlucky man. Back. Flip him back into that arm. Um... Yes! Well done. Get into him. Up him. Oh, no! Ah, out. Let's go again. Go, go, mate. Jeez! Whoa. Smooth but consistent. That's that's really good. Really good, mate. Really good. You got him. You turned him. Keep going. Keep going. Now it's a shark. Or is it? No, you still got a shark. Oh, f Sorry. Let's go again. Let's go again. Oh, so many close calls do we need? You got me on the edge of my seat, Fabio. Oh, I tell you what, what we thought was going to be a breeze <laughs> has turned into a bit of a nightmare <laughs> and we're all freaking out. There's one fish. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can come here and fish the bottom and catch five species, different species in the first half hour. So we're like, yeah, she should be sweet. Uh, not so much. Yeah, swing him over, wind him up real far. In. Yeah! <laughs> it's nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Stay there, stay there. Wine, <laughs> mate. Wine. Wine, lift, pump up. Wine. Wine down. Lift, pump up. Wine. Wine down. Lift. Wine. Oh, what belly. is it? Wine. Oh, it's a golden. Wine. Oh, it's a big golden. Wine. <laughs> You got it! Thanks, boys. <laughs> I kid you not. Thanks. There is six minutes to go. Six minutes. Oh. Holy oh smokes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Fabio, <laughs> you give me a heart attack, brother. Yeah. Oh, it's the best emotion ever. <gasps> oh, my oh. God. <laughs> Gainsy. That was uh, a little bit of pressure there, wasn't it, brother? There's a lot of pressure there for me, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Fabio, come down here, mate. Put the rod down. Come down here. Come on. Come down here, Fabio. Oh, look at that fish. Now, they're real friendly. No spikes, mate. So grab his tail first. That's it. Tight oh. as you can. Tight. Really, yeah. really tight. Hold him up to camera. Wow, what a beautiful fish. The golden <laughs> trevally. Yeah. Remember I showed you the lips on that small one? Watch the lips on this guy. Bro, hello, Fabio. <laughs> well, we got this fish just before oh, we let it go. Yeah. 
put down the barrel there. Is anyone? Whoa! Is there anyone you'd like to dedicate this fish uh, to? Yes, mate? my Australian family, Jan and Ross. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't for you. My beautiful daughter, sweetheart Lottie. My wife, Kate. I'll be home soon, girls. I love you so much. All my friends that support me, my work colleagues, and uh, look, the team, the crew, you guys, Matt, Will, uh, Mr. Kurt. You have done just like an amazing job. For you watching uh, this uh, show, you must come up here. It will just uh, change your fishing trip. It will take your fishing trip to a different level. He's the best. He knows everything about everything. He got great knowledge, customer service, and attention to details. Send the fish home, please. <laughs> He's yes. got a cargo. Go, send it. Ciao. Ciao, Bella. All right. Now, after that speech, I'd like to come here. Yeah. Uh, I just want to remind you that you've just won seven thousand dollars <laughs> worth of gear my friend yes. and i'm going to take this moment five thousand dollars worth of gear from wilson thanks to all the guys from without wilson folks this show doesn't exist so mr graham wilson himself thank you cord and boothy and dicko uh, clint all the team there thanks guys it's a family-run australian business so we ask you guys at home to support the business that supports us and gives us the opportunity to take guys like this on fishing adventures. Then of course, on top of that, you got $2,000 worth of gear at my tackle store, addicttackle.com.au. Yes! So you can buy whatever you want, $7,000 worth of gear. Congratulations, mate. Thanks, mate. You feel good? I feel amazing. Yeah? I'd like to say I would have won anyway, because for me to be here, it's just a blessing. Yeah. I feel very privileged. You being fishing with you, it's the best, seriously, We've had fun, experience we? ever. All the things you taught me in uh, three, four days of fishing straight. And for any fishermen out there to get a top water bar on Monday, <laughs> to get a queen fish jumping so high in the sky, <laughs> to get a mangrove jack like within the rocks, it's just amazing emotions. And thank you so much for everything. My, my pleasure, that's what being a member is all about. And lastly, I'm just gonna say a big thank you to Kurt, you're a legend, mate. Far North Fishing up in Weeper. It's the second time we've fished with them and the great thing about it is not only are they work colleagues but they're also now our friends. And we are very picky on who we fish with and who we take our members fishing with. And these guys are the cream of the crop. Website's on the screen right now. So yeah. what do you say we go back so I call it Buckingham Palace, but we'll go back to the Albatross. <laughs> yes. And uh, have a couple of cold ones and we celebrate tonight. Absolutely, can't wait. Six minutes to go, you nearly killed me. Man. <laughs> well done, buddy. Thanks, Mark. Good job. All right, let's go home. <laughs>